Happy New Year. Happy 2024. Happy New Year, guys. Happy New Year. Welcome back to The Real Morgan M. Um, at first, I was like, I'm not going to make a video yet. Until I really, you know, got myself some down. Uh, but the time is now. And I'm going to put a video out. So, today is January 9th. Yes, it's January 9th, 2024. If you're watching this, we have made it to see another year. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Um, so today I'm just going to talk about um, me starting the 21 days of fasting. It started yesterday, technically. I had previously started on the 2nd of January. But um, I had my uncle's funeral and um, I did kind of break my fast at the repast. Um, but I have repented for that. It's never too late to get back on track. Um, so we're starting over and we're starting with the church. So that's even better. I'm starting with the church. Uh, so I'm on day two and we're going to talk about the 21 days of fasting that I'm doing. Period. Today we are. There we go. All right. So today we are on day two, and day two is basically about. Um, let me go to my my um, my days, honey, because we have scheduled Bible schedules every day. So today. Um, the reading is about purifying your hearts and your motives so um you know it's just basically letting you know like how you can fix your broken heart or your damaged heart and things like that today um and then the service starts today at 6 p.m so i'm gonna watch the service today at 6 p.m so we have service every day up to the 21 days of prayer and fasting and we have prayer for an hour at 6 p.m every day um so I'm excited. Um, I always do this every January. Um, and I always come out different every time. So this time, I'm actually going to tell you all um, what I hope that this fasting gives me. Or what I think God is going to give me um, after this fast. And I'll tell y'all what I'm fasting to. So y'all will know. I'm pretty sure y'all know what I broke. But... We finna get into that right now. So, um, why am I fasting? Um, I'm fasting not only to keep getting closer to God, but um, I'm going to fast for about four things to be exact. So, the one is to get closer to God um, even more than what I already am. Um, I feel like the bond with God is something that you just need if you believe in God or whomever you believe in. But I just feel like he is the reason he is the purpose and i know that i need him throughout this whole 2024 because it started off strong in a good way and in a sad way um due to the fact that my uncle passed away but like i told everybody um i'm honestly i'm at peace with it um because it wasn't a tragic it was a tragedy but it, it didn't he didn't pass away due to a tragic you know it was very a peaceful passing um also i know that spirits live on and i look at death kind of differently than everybody else even though people aren't physically here i know that they are spiritually here with us so i don't have a reason to be sad or upset about it just because they're not physically in my presence i know that they're spiritually in my presence um and lastly with that my uncle was so hard on me like he was always like a bully but in like a good way um he always used to like just tell me to like suck it up don't cry like and you better not be crying and like he always kind of was like my tough cookie like you know so like I know that he wouldn't want me down here crying and sad and moping around. I know that he would want me to keep doing what I'm doing because he always used to ask me what I was up to. Anytime I saw him and just, you know, checking in and make sure my son was straight, I was straight. And that's all that matters to me. So I know that I have to keep that momentum going um, for that. So that's the first thing that I'm doing <laughs> for fasting. <laughs> and so the... Um, the second thing would be that I am fasting to take away from alcohol. Um, if y'all know, 
alcoholism is really 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 hard for me um i've gotten to the age where i can't admit that um i i drink i casually drink i don't need to drink every day but i casually drink um i don't get like shit faced or drunk drunk all the time but um i um i need to take a step back from drinking so these 21 days will be of me no drinking um i did break it like i said and when i went to my uncle's repast i had a beer yikes but um i started it over because i know that i tend to go to alcohol when i'm happy sad mad confused whatever and i know that that can't be my that can't be my coping mechanism in life um like i have stuff to live for i have a child to live for like you know what i'm saying like and my health is important so it's like i can't do that and i know that my tolerance is crazy high but it's just like i know that i need to take a step back from drinking so i can really get a clear vision of my life and where i want to be and what i want to do and get that clarity so um we on day we on day three technically for me we on day three because i haven't drank anything else and today is tuesday so we are on day three and it's been going fine i feel like i really get tempted the most during the weekend so yeah i just pray for you girl but definitely alcohol is a no-go for the 21 days of fasting um number three would be i'm fasting because i want discernment and clarity in my life i've noticed that um Sometimes I have a Delulu mindset, um, and there's nothing wrong with having a Delulu mindset, but have a Delulu mindset for the right reasons. I was having Delulu mindsets for the wrong reasons sometimes, so I know that I need to get discernment and clarity about what the reality is of things and how to make them better or how to leave them where they're at or how to just move on. I have moved on from a lot of stuff since last year, and I'm really, really proud of myself for that. I have let people go. I've let certain habits go. And I'm really, really turning into a different person, um, and I adore that about myself. So, discernment is number three, because we all need that clarity, period. Last but not least, um, I'm fasting to, I'm trying to think it's right here on the top of my head but i'm really fasting just for my life and the journey that i want to have in 2024 um this is going to be a great year it is a great year already i've had so far um two big brand pr brand deals carol's daughters clinique and i have put those out on my social media platforms um i've been posting more tiktoks um posting more reels and things like that i haven't posted any pictures yet for 2024 besides the one when my uncle passed and i had like pictures from the funeral and stuff um but as far as like for me like dressed up and stuff i haven't done that yet um but january just started so it's okay um but i have also been um pushing myself to reach out to more brands so i have been like researching like um what big content creators use to get these brand deals and these jobs, whether they're paid or not, um, at the end of the day, you're still getting you know, your face out there, you're getting free products, you're getting to try new things, you're networking, and I'm learning how to do that by myself. I don't have an agent. I don't have people that are like telling me what to do. Um, I'm doing this literally raw and uncut by myself. Like I'm picking up things from other big content creators on TikTok and stuff to like learn how to like edit better. So like I know how to edit better with my reels, which is so cool because I've been wanting to learn how to do those things. And I like editing, I'm very creative. So it's like, it's it's a blessing to actually do something that I'm passionate about. Um, as well as even in my career, like, you know, this is, I'll say my first full week where I'm like, I'm at a calm level head working. Um, to where now I can really focus at work and perfect that. Um, and I don't know what my career is gonna bring me work-wise. I really don't, um, but I'm open to change. I'm open to growing. I'm open to promotions. I'm open to more money. <laughs> Everybody's looking for more money, right? But no, I'm just, I'm just ready for new opportunities within my company and to build more networking uh, skills as well as like build more bonds with different people in different departments. So yeah. 
that's a lot but i'm ready and lastly i mean this is a bonus i guess like me with like dating um at first this year i had wrote in my journal like i don't want to date i don't want to I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I'm scared of it. I don't want shit to do with it. Um, but this time, I'm just honestly, I'm leaving that into God's hands. Is that one of the top things on my list right now? No. Um, but me right now, I'm, I'm, I don't even know what to call this. And that's why I said when I'm confused, I know that it's something that is probably not for me. And I don't think that I'm confused, but it's like the um the fear of rejection i'll say i am the type of girl that i don't like rejection and i'm the type of girl that sometimes i want to be in a committed relationship and sometimes i need my space so it's like i don't know if i'm really physically and mentally ready to be in a committed relationship because i can't i can't talk to somebody every day i just can't do it like sometimes i really need weeks and time to myself i cannot give all of my time to people because when i did that in the past it kind of backfired on me so it's like now that i'm learning how to really just be self-centered and self to like just to me um it feels good but i also don't want to live a life alone i'm not lonely i'm alone but i'm not lonely um so what i'm doing this year is doing the three month rule it's cliche but i am um so if like for example if i'm dating somebody right now they have until march mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they got till march and i will just have to suck it up and just ask them like hey you know we've been dating for this amount of time what do you see? Do you see us just being like this? Or do you see us being on another level? And depending on their response is how I'm gonna go about the situation because then the ball will be in my court and it'll be my choice whether to deal with it or not. So if my heart is to be broken, it's because they told me what they wanted up front already and I just stuck around, but that's not gonna happen because if they don't want what I want, there's no point in us even continuing the thing, so. Dating will be that for me in 2024. And I'm sure with fasting and praying, God is going to give me clarity. I pray every day before I go to bed, remove those who are not meant to be in my life. And I stand on that every night. And I don't question God when people are not here. I don't. So, thank you, God. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's it. Um, if you do want to do the 21 days of fasting, if you made it to the end of this video and you do want to do the 21 days of fasting, I'm doing it with Transformation Church with Michael Todd online. Um, they do have, if you have the Bible app, um, you can download the plan. So I do the start plan every day. You read your scriptures every day in the morning um, for this particular day. So like I told y'all earlier, for today, day two is to purify your heart. So I read that this morning. You watch the sermon every day at 6 p.m. They keep them up on their YouTube channel just in case if you do miss a day and you want to go back to the sermon that day. Um, so they're only an hour. I mean, anybody could give an hour to God. So if that's something that you are interested in, um, go on there to their website. Not their website, Lord Jesus. Go into YouTube because you're already on YouTube watching this video. Go on YouTube, search Transformation Church, 21 Days of Fasting and Prayer. And get on board. It's never too late. But I love y'all. Um, live your life. It's 2024. Live your life. Live it how you want to live it. Stay true to you. Be happy. Life is short. I'm telling y'all, life is short. Forgive, forgive, forgive. I have done so much growing this year already. I cannot wait to talk to my therapist on the 20th to tell her um, about some things that I've really overcame. And I'm very, very proud of myself for that. I feel like a great person. I'm at peace. My skin is glowing. My hair is growing, baby. Listen. You can't tell me nothing, y'all. But I love y'all. And until we see each other again, bye.